New at five, a Rock Hill teen attacked with a sword and gun, then robbed in his home, and it was all caught on camera. Police say the suspects are six teenagers and two of them already in custody. NBC Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw spoke to the victim who says hours after the robbery, he was threatened at gunpoint again. Billie Jean. That's right, Fred. The victim says a group of women came to his home here on Annafrail Street, threatening to shoot him if he told police about the robbery. It was something the victim caught on camera. And I will feed you. Take she got a gun. She this video capturing the moments Rock Hill police say Barbara Blake pointed a gun at 17-year-old Dennis Moats and his parents. Since she came and was trying to talk, but she had attitude and she put a, uh, a black handgun out and pointed at me. She got the wrong one yesterday because I'm not scared of no guns. This incident happening just hours after Moats woke up to six teenagers kicking down his bedroom door. Police unsure about Blake's connection. People just like hit me and jumping on me and like like hit me with bottles and like like choking me and grabbing me with like like swords and trying to like kill me. For 30 minutes, Moats says the teens continuously beat him and leapt after they couldn't crack the code to his iPhone. They tried to uh, put the sword to my neck and said, they said, um, give me your password. And I was, I ain't trying to do all that. The culprits got away with 25 pairs of shoes, dozens of designer belts, and a PlayStation. Mo says he doesn't know the robbers, but thinks his social media accounts led them to his home. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram and like Facebook, and so they probably seen all my stuff on there. Police have arrested two suspects, 18-year-old Jonathan Page and a 16-year-old. Tuesday, Page was denied bond and is facing life in prison. I'm not afraid. I'm just going to get all my stuff back and keep on flexing. Now, police are continuing to search for the other four suspects, but just a short time ago, I spoke to Moat's father. They're just leaving the police department where they tell me they have been still receiving threatening phone calls, demanding that those charges be dropped against the suspects. It's something Moat says he will not budge on. For now, in Rock Hill, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte.